Welcome everybody. This is Kathleen Cotter Lawler. We are going to talk today about another game called Find the Two Factors. This game is found in the Math Card Games book, which is game P29, again from the Math Card Games book. Hi, it's me again. Alrighty, here is the Math Card Games book. And like I said, we're going to look at game P29, which is right here. Yep, I sure got the right one there. Right here in the book. We're, so we're looking at this one right here. So let me show you how, kind of how to read this and then we'll go ahead and play a game. So here's a closer view of the game. Sometimes it'll lead off with some um, kind of a note to you. Here's our objective of the game, background. In this case, it's talking about, you know, telling you to explain the term factor to a child. So both the multiplicand and the multiplier are factors. And then, so for example, in the equation, eight times nine equals 72, eight and nine are the factors. So this is kind of helping you help the child. If you're using the curriculum, this probably will have been discussed. Actually, it will have been discussed. If you're using this with another program, you may need the background information. This tells you if we can use a manipulative to play the game, we're gonna use a multiplication table. And I've got this one here, just a regular one. Or you can also use the short multiplication table. Either one will work. So again, it's telling you here what to use. Tells me who can play, what cards I need, how to deal it, the layout. And again, we're gonna run through this stuff. The objective of the game, what's the purpose? Am I trying to hear? I'm trying to collect the most basic number cards by completing roles. Again, we're gonna run through this, so don't, don't panic on what this all means, but just I'm just kind of outlining this for you so you know how to read these. Here's the play. I find for myself, it's easier to kind of go through this and play a quick hand myself before I bring the kids in. So let's go ahead and look at this uh, in more detail. Okay, so let's look at this in detail here. We have the objective. Whoops, can't get my computer to work. We're gonna practice using the multiplication facts. So this is a great game for people who say, my kids don't know their multiplication facts. Play this game. The cards that we need, and again, this is all from the book, we need the multiplication deck, which looks like this. And it tells us we need about half the cards. So we're not gonna use the full deck, just a random half. If you wanna use the full deck, that's fine. It's gonna be a longer game, but it says to use half the deck. Then it says to use the basic number decks. These are the, just the numbers from zero to 10. And in the deck, they come 12, there's 12 of each number. When we actually package them, if you're buying them brand new, we package them in two, pack, two groups. One group has six of each number, the other pack has six of each numbers. The two decks, the, the two halves equal the whole deck. So the whole deck I think has 132 cards in it. Now for this game, we're gonna use all of them but the zeros. So our object of the game is to collect the most basic number cards, the green ones, by completing rows. So let's go see what this looks like when we're playing it. Okay, so the book says, the instructions say, layout, start with two rows with one multiplication card each. So here's my full deck. By the way, you like my bracelet? Look at that, isn't that cool? If you're wanting one of these, hit us up at a convention. Anyhow, so I'm just gonna take half the deck here. So I'll set that side, that apart. So I've got my cards. Um, it says to take, and I've got this right here. It says uh, two rows with one multiplication card each. So, well, I guess I could do it this way. There we go. I'm gonna set this aside. Just a second here. Good heavens, I get hands don't work today. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. So I've got two cards each. Now, it says that we can ha have, well, let me back up. 
here's my multiple or my basic number cards. I've already pulled my zeros aside or taken them out. It says each person gets five cards. One, two, three, four, five for me and one, two, three, four, five for another person. We're going to pretend that we have a second person here working with us. So let's look at my hand first. We'll take the second person over here. Look at my hand first. So what we want to do is we want to play a card that's a factor less than 10 of the multiplication card in either row. So I look at this. What are my factors? What two numbers equal 27? Well, hopefully you're thinking 9 times 3. Okay, I don't have a 9 and a 3. And if I'm not sure, let me go look here. 27. 27 is right here. I don't have it anywhere else. So yes, my only option is nine times three. Okay, so those are my two factors. I don't have a nine and a three. 70, that's going to be what? Hopefully, again, you're saying seven and 10. Oh, I have a seven. There we go. Now, I'm going to look real quick. And by the way, I'm doing this as if I'm learning how to play, which I kind of am. So I'm going to be like you where we're going to have to kind of look at this. It says, I'm curious if we, if we get a new card. Um, let's see here, collects basic number cards. I think we always, oh, here we go. After playing a card, the player draws another card. Okay, so I'm going to draw another card. So here's my hand. Okay, so my turn is done. Let's go see what this other guy can do. So we got the other guy over here. So here again, now the other child's gonna have to figure this out. What do I need? I need a set nine and a three. Ooh, I have a three. And this one needs a 10. Oh, yay! So we get to scoop all of this up. I'm gonna set these aside here and here. Okay, I need to pick two more cards because I can't do anything else. Okay, the instructions do say, okay, I want to make sure I was recording. The instructions do say that if we have less than two, so we need to always have two here, I'm going to turn over another card. Okay, so I've, the, this player has taken all their cards. We've laid this out. Their turn is ready to go. They've, got, they've already got some points here. Let me see what I can do. This isn't looking good for me here. Okay, I've got my new hand. I need a nine, no nine. Two needs a, a one and a two. I have a one. Okay, I take another card. Not looking good for me. All right, let's go see what this guy can do. Let's see. Um, I need a nine, don't have a nine. I need to, oh, look at this. Boy, I've got a better hand of cards over here. So I scoop these up, scoop this one up. I get myself another card. So now I always keep five in my hand and I lay down another one. Okay, back to my hand. I'm not doing well over here compared to what my friend, my invisible friend is doing. All right, I need a nine, no. What does this one need? And again, if I'm not sure, oops, I can come back to this, 90. I need a 10 and a nine. I don't have anything. So now, so now I can't do anything. The instructions, let's go back and look here real quick. The instructions say if a player is unable to play, skips his turn, but gets to start a new row. Alrighty. So I can't do anything, but I've got a new row. So it's now my invisible friend's turn. Okay, this one needs a nine, no. This one needs a nine and 10, no. 40 needs a four and a 10, or I could do what? I could do a five and an eight, so I can lay a five down, get a new card, turn is over. Hopefully I can do something now. Still no nine, nine and 10. This one needs an eight. Ha ha, yay, look at me go. 
I got some points. Put them right there. All right, because we already have two, we don't have to lay another one. My turn is over. So the game continues until you've used up all the cards. Now, to turn this into a one person game, maybe you just have the child work this way, turn it into a solitaire game. Have it work with whatever works in your household. So what'd you think of that game? Was that a fun one? I hoped you liked that. Stay tuned and we will have another game next week. Have a great day and go play some card games. Have a great day, everybody.